Hi, I am starting a non-profit UAV company and together with my team of over 40 volunteers, we have been engineering a fixed wing UAV from scratch. This UAV will be able to be used in many fields in the future as we want to make modules to go into the module slot, but our first goal is to make this drone a true professional at sniffing down people in need. We are designing it to withstand cold temperatures and harsh weather, ensuring it can rapidly be deployed by catapult to scan mountains for victims stuck under an avalanche. It'll be able to do this all quicker than any search and rescue team on the ground would be able to find someone, as it will be flying at over 13 meters per second using its specifically designed low latency radio signal geo positioning system. It works by receiving an emergency beacon or potentially cell phone radio signal and reading the signal strength from four individual onboard antennas and after refining this data with filters and machine learning, you can calculate a reasonably accurate guess of where the signal is coming from. It will use its onboard GPS to compare the signal heading at multiple positions which allows for triangulation with only one drone. That way you can accurately find the exact coordinates of this radio signal. To ensure we don't miss any victims, we need to fly within close parameter of their radio beacon. Snow acts as a Faraday cage, as it's made out of water, and can block radio waves from coming through. The emergency radio beacons can be seen within 50 meter proximity. If the drone will fly in this zigzag pattern, the distance between each flight path determines how fast a drone can cover a large area. Any potential victim would have to be found and rescued within 10 minutes before they suffocate. So we need to maximize maximize the distance between each flight path to increase its searching speed, but if we have to be within 50 meters of every possible location, we need to fly as low as possible to decrease this distance in a vertical sense, as it's not useful. Our goal is to fly as low as 10 meters, which introduces the need of obstacle avoidance. But at this speed, an affordable LiDAR sensor will not allow for enough time to avoid the obstacle after detection, as it'll only detect it at like 10 meters range. So we've come up with an innovative solution, which is stereo vision, which is highly based on our own eyes and our own depth perception. There will be two cheap cameras with a known distance in between the two, and then by comparing the position of a certain pixel on each camera, you can use the triangulation to find the distance of objects. With the electronics for this being cheaper than a regular LiDAR sensor, we will be able to detect objects at 50 meter distances with only a 2 centimeter inaccuracy. It can see things even even further away with more inaccuracy or things closer by with more accuracy. Welcome to engineering a UAV drone swarm without experience and after all of this progress and all of this research we are finally ready to start drawing out and building our first prototype.